Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect NinjaTrader to TradingView in 2023. If you're looking to sync your Ninja Trading account with TradingView for a seamless trading experience, you are in the right place. As of now, there are some methods to establish a connection between these platforms, allowing you to harness or to enhance the power of both for your trading strategies. So make sure to stick by and simply let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first we'll have to go and access your ninja trading account or ninja trader accounts to do so go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case is going to be brave browser and of course in your case it could be any other browser that you could possibly have once you open that browser basically just go to the crl section and here you'll have to type ninja trader.com and hit the enter button this should take you to the home screen or main screen of ninja trader all the way in. and of course if you have an account basically you'll have to go to the top right corner and click on login to login into your account if you don't you'll have to go like on open accounts as said of course you can scroll down to read more information about this website if you want to to have some general idea about us and see what people are saying about us and etc. So for me here, I'll just go and click on open accounts. And as you can see, you can open accounts using Google or Apple if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of recent accounts. Same will be for login. So I'll just go here and create my account with Google, choose my first account, confirm. And as you can see, they fill all the information for me. I basically have to check this option because I have read and agree to the terms and conditions at the end user, etc. So just go and read all of that. It will take some time, but it's actually like very, very important to read it. So it basically will take from you seven to 10 minutes. So click on create user. And as you can see, a new user created. So I'll have to wait. And here we are. So live trading account, unlimited simulated trading included, no deposits, minimum requirements, and free platform access included. Now ready for live trading, you can start like a risk-free trial or of simulated trading if you want to. So for me, I'll just go and click on open account as simple as that so here of course you can start like live trading for individual joint ira business entity whatever you want so i'll just go with that and of course you'll have to fill some of your informations as an example and i'll sorry fill of course those informations your personal informations then the financial information the experience and affiliation additional users and you'll review everything and accept for me i'll not keep doing all of that so for you you can go and do it now you can simply go and open trading view. I'll just leave, leave that open. Why not? So go and open a new tab, open trading view. And of course, you'll have to do the same. So you'll have to log in into your account if you have an account. And if you don't, you'll have to go and create an account. You'll find like the login option or create option at the top right corner again. For me, I'm already logged in into my account. As you can see, I have an account here. So there are three ways. So you can connect, of course, your trading view account with your Ninja Trader. The first way through the API key. You can simply just go and get your API key from Ninja Trader, uh, go and create one or generate a new key with the security code, and make sure to give in necessary permissions like analyze and access data and etc. And then copy that code uh, or this API key with the security code or the secret key or pass phrase or something like that should be named something like that. Once you copy it, go back to trading view, go and start a new exchange and make sure to enter those in their field. And just see if everything like is connected. You'll find of course, if you will just, you'll have to see if everything's connected, you will find like the shards of trading or ninja trader into your trading view. That's how you will know if like the both platforms are connected now or the connection is established or not yet. And of course, basically, if you don't want this option, there's another option. If you want to export data from Ninja Trader, access simply your Trading View account, then and you can upload the data to Trading View and right away. Once uploaded, you can format and organize the data within Trading View according to your analysis requirements and ensure that the data aligns with the desired charting or anal analysis format. This another like way to do it. There's even even the manual sync or update since the like uh, you can do it manually. And there is the, another way that I'll show you now. So you can simply go here on your trading view, go to brokers. I'll just click on any of those. I'll basically have to go to trade. So once you are on trade here, I'll just go here. So you'll have to look for Ninja 
trader here and brokers so click on see all brokers uh, brokers then look for ninja uh, trader once you find it just click on it and click on connect if they ask you for api key just enter it if they don't ask you click on connect and of course they will open ninja trader here you'll have to log in into your account and you will be good to go so just look for ninja traders in this and of course if you didn't find it there is the last way or the last option which is simply go here to watch list at the top right corner click on this plus which is the add symbol there from there you can simply go to here to crypto forex whatever you want and go to all sources and here you'll have to type ninja and as you can see when we type ninja so sorry ninja trader we don't find anything so there is they have no sources in crypto let's check for forex same will be here check for futures or funds so we'll we'll need to look for source this one let's check here there is no source here this bounds just countries and here economy so there is no ninja so as you can see you'll basically have to look it for or look after it so basically you'll have to look for it here in the brokers if you find that that's cool if you don't you'll have to use it just through the api key option that's kind of the only way because if you go here and type like ninja you will not find like you just click on all and ninja trader as an example so you will basically not find it uh, as a symbol if you want to add this from watch list but of course you can go as an example add it in any other way that you want so make sure go to go and do that so as i said you can get just your api key from a ninja trader and enter it here as an exchange or you can transfer the data by uh, exporting it from here and uploading it in here or you can find this as a broker and but the last option of adding like the charts of trading uh, or ninja trader we didn't find them in here so it's a no big deal of course you can simply here go to trade and you'll find all the chart that they have as example i'll just go here with simulation why not and as you can see here, all the charts that you have, you'll be able to go and uh, export those to trade them. You start using them there, and you'll be basically good to go. So that's going to be it, of course, for me today. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. And of course, uh, if you have any issues, you can always comment uh, check the supports as you can see in ninja trader or even in trading view or leave a comment down in the comment section and i'll come back to you as soon as possible so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video